All right, friends, we are now looking at M3, page 35. We have the following Venn diagram, and you have been asked to put numbers in each section. Now, I want to point out that they're not specifying that you only need three numbers in the sections. That's because the numeral cards that are being used are asking for the factors of 18 and the factors of 24. The difference between this and multiples is that with factors, there's a definite number of them. With multiples, it could go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, so questions asking us, will there be any section that does not have any numbers and why? And letter B is saying, what is the greatest common factor and explain how. Now, all right, so the first thing we need to do is think about what the factors of 18 are. So down here, we're going to write factors of 18. All right, so what numbers can we multiply together to get 18? You can always do 1 and 18, okay? 1 times 18. You can always do 2 because it's even, so it's going to be divisible by 2. So what number can you multiply by 2 to get to 18? 9. So 2 and 9. And you can also do 3 because if you add the digits 1 plus 8, you get 9, and you know that 9 is divisible by 3. So, 3 times what? 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18, so 6. Okay? Are there any other factors of 18? Um, I do not believe there are. All right, so now you want to find the factors of 24. So, factors of 24. Always start with 1 times the number. 1 times 24 is 24. We know that 24 is even, so it's going to be divisible by 2. So 2 times what number is 24? Where you can count by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So I counted 12 times, so 2 and 12. Is it going to be divisible by 3? 2 plus 4 is 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. So 3 is going to be a factor. 3 times what? Count by 3s. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. 3 and 8. Are there any other factors of 24? Let's think. Can we do 4? Um, yeah, we can do 4. Okay. At, count by 4s. 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus another 4 is 12, plus another 4 is 16, plus another 4 is 20, plus another 4 is 24. Okay, how about 7? Mm, 7 being prime, I'm not going to be able to divide it by 24. How about 8? Well, we already did 8 times 3. We already did 12 times 2, so I think that's about it. Now, what we want to do is find out which numbers we can put in our center column. So, looking at letter B here, Okay, we have 1 and 1, so 1 is going to go in there. What else do we have? We have 2 and 2. We have 3 and 3. We have 6 and 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6. Now, what about over here? Letter C and letter A. So our factors of 24 are going to go over here. So we've got 24 and 12 eight and four, 24, 12, eight, and four. How about over by the factors of 18? We have 18 and nine, 18 and nine. So will there be any section that does not have any numbers? There actually is not a section that does not have any numbers because again, these are even numbers and they're looking at specific factors there. So it's going to go, going to be definite in here and definite in here, and then with our common numbers there. What is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor right here is 6. Okay, so the GCF is equal to 6. Now I'm going to pause. Make sure you go ahead and jot all of those things down. And then I'm going to flip over, and we're going to respond to the two questions. Letter A and letter B. All right, 
Moving on to letter A. Letter A <clears throat> asked us, will there be any section that does not have any numbers and why? Okay. There is only section D, which is the outliers that will not have any numbers, okay? Now we do have to answer why, as much as we don't like to write necessarily for math, we do need to make sure we explain our thinking. So why? Why is section D the only one that will not have any numbers, okay? Because the factors of 18 and the factors of 24 are all going to be in the circle. All of them are, okay? All of the factors of 18 and of 24 belong in the Venn diagram, okay? All of the factors of 18 and 24 belong in the Venn diagram. Now, why is that? Why is it that they all belong in the Venn diagram? Because they have some definite what? They have a definite place, okay? 18 and 9 is a factor of 18, and we have some that are in the common, and then these are our factors of 24 because it's specific to what you're looking for. That's why. If it said odd numbers or prime numbers or square numbers or something like that, okay, then yeah, you might have some outliers. But this is definite to just those factors. So it is definite to just those factors. Okay, what that means is it's specific. You could say specific if that's a better word. It is specific slash definite to just those factors. Okay, I'm going to pause. Now we're going to go on to letter B. Letter B says, what is the greatest common factor? And explain how you know. We found out the greatest common factor was six. The... GCF is 6. I know because I made a list of all the factors of both 18 and 24. The greatest one in common is six. And then we have, again, specified our answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and allow you some time to copy down those responses. All right, my friends, and that is it for our Think League Deeply question for today.